today I'm going to be doing a review on this product right here. It is the Sonia Koshka um, Foundation and it is their Perfecting Luminous Foundation in Vanilla 02. I am very excited. Um, I've used this product about three or four times now. Um, I did purchase it at Target. I do believe that's the only place you can get these products. Um, you probably can find them online, but around where I'm at, the only place I can get them is at Target. Um, I really like the packaging of this product. It sounds like this here is glass. It's very thick. Um, and then it has a pump. So the packaging on this is very, very nice. And for an inexpensive product, I think it was $12, the packaging seems very more expensive than what I would expect to be on a product like this. Um, so at first glance, I really am impressed by the packaging. I bought this product because I saw online that it was a dupe for the Becca um, Luminous foundation, the one that they have. I have not tried that, so I cannot say whether or not it is a dupe for that, but that is the reason I picked this up. Um, I am doing a review on this foundation of how I think this foundation is not comparing it to the Becca because I've not tried that, so I personally cannot say if I think it's a dupe for that or not, but I do really like this foundation. The first time I used it, I did not like it that much at all. Um, I think that's because I applied it with a brush, and this foundation is very, very thick and I did not like the way it applied. I felt like it was very thick on my face, especially on like my forehead area. I felt like it was very cakey. The best way and the only way that I like to apply this foundation is with a damp beauty blender. It goes on very, very smoothly this way. Um, it doesn't get cakey. It lasts. Um, I applied it yesterday and I didn't use any primer, any powder to set it. I was just applying it and running out the door. As I went to work, it lasted um, eight hours that I was at work. When I came home, I could still see where there was, um, basically there was still a foundation, but it just looked more of a lighter coverage than the full coverage it was whenever I had left um, that morning. So I did apply another like half pump um, just to give some of those areas a little bit more fuller coverage before I went out for the evening, but that was all I needed. So I will definitely say that this would last eight hours um, on its own. Definitely longer if you applied a primer and a powder to set it. Um, so you could probably make this foundation last probably I'd say even 12 hours if not longer than that if you did you know took the steps to make that happen. Um, but with just using it by itself, no other product whatsoever, no concealer or anything like that, it did last eight hours because by the time I was applying that other half pump, it was probably nine or ten hours by that point in time. Um, I do think that it is very luminous as well. Um, it is definitely not a matte foundation whatsoever. Um, also, it is very, very thick, so that's why I apply it with the Beauty Blender. You do not need to do very much. At first, I was applying two pumps, and now it's probably more like one to one and a half pumps. Um, it's very full coverage, but I have been very impressed with this product, especially for the $12 price. So let's get started. I'm going to be showing you how I apply it, and then I'm going to do just a very minimal um, kind of running to the grocery store makeup look for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. So I'm just going to apply a pump and a half to the back of my hand. And then I apply that directly to my face with my damp beauty blender. And this is just the Real Techniques brand. And I do want to say I'm trying to get back in the swing of putting up videos. I know I have not been for the last couple of weeks, last month, um, and I do apologize for that, but we have started trying to eat healthier and work out, and just with the whole move and having to drive further, a little bit further to work and everything, we have been very extremely busy, and I have not had any time to myself. Um, and I was trying to do videos on the weekends and then we've had every weekend it seems like we've been out of town or it's just been absolutely 
insanely busy and fully packed of things to do. Um, but I am going to start posting at least one video a week, I think is what I've decided I'm going to have to go down to for now. Um, but I'm going to most weeks try and get up to, but I'm going to make myself um, find time, whether it's staying up later than normal or whatever it is, to get at least one video up a week. So I do want to apologize to you guys for that. Um, I'm not gone. I'm still going to be doing videos. It's just been terrible trying to find the time. Then I just make sure there's any extra product is um, picked up by my beauty blender. Now I have normal skin. Um, it's not really dry or oily. I don't have oil whatsoever on my skin. Um, sometimes I do have a little bit of dryness around my nose, like if the weather is changing, especially between, you know, when it starts getting colder. Um, but normally my skin is just very normal. I don't have any issues with it. So if you have oily skin, you probably would not like this foundation because it is luminous. Um, I would say it would work pretty well for dry skin. I would just be sure no matter what skin type you have to apply it with a damp beauty blender because it's very thick. And also I have found that I don't really have to set this foundation with anything. Even like I will just throw it on if I'm running out the door, I don't have to apply concealer and I don't have to set my under eyes. I don't really notice it creasing too badly throughout the day as well. Then for concealer, we're going in with our on-camera special treatment concealer by Elsie. And this is just a cream concealer and I'm going in again with that damp beauty blender and just applying this under my eyes. Just going to make sure to blend this in well. Then I forgot in the beginning to apply this, but I'm going in with some um, lip whip and this is by Cara Gone and this is the Cinnamon um, Berry Naked. And I ordered this off of Sephora, and I think it was $12, um, but I've been really impressed with it. I really like applying it at night, or like now before I apply my makeup, um, if I'm going to be applying like a liquid lipstick or any type of lipstick, it helps just kind of set underneath and moisturize your lips throughout the day. Then after my concealer, I'm going to go in and set those under eyes with my RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm just going to be using the Tapered Brush by e.l.f. Then I'm going to be going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm going to be applying this to my forehead and cheekbones. <laughs> and I just broke this one but it is the NARS blush in orgasm so I'm going to be really careful with it <laughs> today and I'm going to be really careful with this as well. I'm also going to apply 
apply this on the inner corner of my eyes and this is all I'm going to be doing today for eye makeup. Then moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with my Chella brow pencil and just lightly filling them in. So this can show you here how much an eyebrow can change the look of your face. Then I'm going to go in and set my eyebrows with the brow gel. Then for the bottom lash line we're going to go in and darken that up just a little bit and I'm going to be using a black eyeliner in the brand is Doshé Cosmetics. today and apply the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and on the bottom lashes we're going to apply the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. <laughs> review on the Sonia Koshka Luminous Foundation and I hope you guys have enjoyed this little easy quick um, on the go makeup tutorial and I will see you in my next video. I hope to see you back every Tuesday and Thursday and again I'm definitely going to be posting one video a week hopefully two um, as long as we're not running around and I crazy. So I hope to see you guys soon and please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please don't hit, forget to subscribe to see more tutorials and reviews and videos like this. I will see you next time. Bye bye.